Okay, next up we're going to draw circles. These circles here, um, or these, kind of whatever you want. Um, we're just going to draw circles. I forget which one we're drawing, actually, now that I'm talking about it, but you'll see. Um, I believe we are drawing these here. These blue outline circles, right? Pretty cool. Good design choice, Ruth. So let's create, let's turn off simple lines and create a new function. And after this, we're, we're gonna take a step back and start thinking about how to, to layer these and make choices about which layers to do and all that. So let's, let's just create one more and then we'll, we'll talk about some more design logic. So uh, first of all, we want to set the number of circles. Uh, we've used this before, the num shapes variable, and we're just gonna set it to the number of sides that we're gonna do. The angle that we're gonna rotate is always going to be dependent on that. So let's do that. Let's say 360 divided by the number of shapes. We've done that before. Uh, let's do a size, um, shape size. So that's the, the size of the circles themselves. And this is just something that I, I messed around with for a little bit and I find it seems to work not center crystal size divided by two that's the radius and I'm new using a proportion here I don't know why 0.93 works so well but it does um, and then next we need a position right so um, basically the way that we would want to do that for this is if we want the outer edge of these circles to always be at the, the outermost edge of our shape then we want the position to be the circumference minus or the radius minus half of the width of the circle itself. So we'll say the position or the center, since we're drawing these from the center, equals the radius, I keep doing that, crystal size divided by two minus shape size divided by two. And that should give us just about everything we need. We also kind of want to do our style stuff so let's get that stroke color in there um, in Ruth's designs they're never thick because there's so many of them I think that that's a good choice you never really see them all thick um, so we're gonna stick with that design choice and not in other words um, come up with a random weight of one or three just the stroke color is fine and then we can start filling in all of our drawing stuff kind of the same way we've always done it so we can set our stroke color um, we can set a stroke weight of one since we know it's always going to be one. And then we can start pushing our matrix and popping it. So first, as we've always done, we want to translate to the width. Oops, divided by two, height divided by two. And then we can start our loop. Um, just to save us the typing, I'm going to pop it in here. And we're going to draw an ellipse. We're going to draw it at our position and along the x-axis we don't need to move on the y and then it's going to be the shape size shape size much like you probably anticipated it would be and then let's actually add it here circle um let's call it circles that makes more sense circles shabang cool so that one was nice and easy and quick um, the position looks great let's keep running it a couple more times make sure that the color choice is working the position is always the same and everything looks groovy. Cool, quick and easy.